Welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Stargazer. Unfortunately for those of you who have enjoyed the bullshit of all of this so far, the final area of the game is little more than simply talking to people and backtracking. I say talking, but I really mean reading their minds. We finally get to test out Ein's or Ein, I guess is how you pronounce it. Anyways, we get to test out her telepathy ability. Now this is the space tower that leads to outside space. You need the oxygen pipe to go any further than this door, so I hope you went and got it. Oh, that was a neat sound effect. Yep, we're in outer space. Everybody here is, in, is either in spacesuits or not human at all, so you can't talk to them normally. You need Ein's telepathy. And those purple tiles right there are electri electrified fences. If you step on them, you take damage. But you wouldn't know that without me telling you because you can't... You There's no sound effects, so you won't actually know you're taking damage when you step on it. Now, th now these next few areas are weird because you can face through the walls without the jump ability. I like this because when you're stepping on the wall tiles, there are no random encounters. So unless you step on the regular tiles, you won't run into anything. And you'd better not run into anything, because the enemies at this point are way strong. Even if you're at level 30, you, you could still get killed. So I'm so I'm going to need to use safe states to bypass most of, most of the um, places that you can't just face through the walls to get past. And fortunately, I didn't run into an, anything dangerous until like the last um, part of the game. Anyways, yes, there's dolphins in outer space. They weren't kidding about the dolphin thing. You know, I really don't get the plot of this game at all. What do dolphins have to do with anything? I'm seriously reminded of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, but comparing this game to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is kind of insulting. So anyways, use telepathy on this particular dolphin. Or is that a whale? Looks kind of more whale-like. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Yep, they're blocking my way out yet again. Come on, guys, get out of the way! Why can't I walk through them? Why can't I tell them to get out of the way? Eh, it's just a minor annoyance at this point, really. Now here's something you don't see every day. Stop up, step off the edge of the map and wind up someplace completely different. Yeah, that's pretty much to be expected from this game at this point. Now this area. I had to re-record this area because I kept running into enemies and eventually ran out of, um... Ran out of psychic power. Go me. So if you'll excuse me, I need to skip this. There we go! This is the cockpit of the spaceship. I know it doesn't look like it because the graphics suck. You need a yellow ID to get past those doors. Now, oddly enough, the yellow ID card is the only card that does not disappear when you use it. Now, if, one of, if the yellow ID card doesn't disappear when you use it, why couldn't they make it so that the other cards don't disappear when you use them? But it doesn't matter anyways. We're almost done with this game. Just a few more steps that need to be taken. journey. I guess. I mean, even as crappy as this game is, you've got to admit, this, the plot and the whole setup for the setting of the game, that was... Yeah, they, they had a nice idea for the plot, I'll give them that, but everything else was just shoddy. 
with that in mind, I would like to point out that there is, in fact, a fan remake of this game, but it has not been translated into English, so I have no chance of playing it. And here we are at last, the ending of the game! Great Psychic Army. What exactly do I, did I do to deserve that title? Oh, I let's played a horrible game so no one else would have to. That's wonderful. Oh, I get it. The plot of this game is that a horrible game was made, thus proving that humans are not as smart as we thought they were. And I'm a hero because I LP'd it so no one else would have to play it. Yeah, it's a horrible plot. Let's see what the other endings have pulled for us. War of Fan vs. Developer continues. I guess. I'm just making this up as I go along at this point. I have no idea what the plot is. In fact, I see. What would happen if... Now, this is the bad ending music doesn't change, that little image right there doesn't change, but it doesn't matter. I showed you all three endings. I finished playing this awful game. Now to move on to something else. Uh, the future of humanity is going to look grim if they keep making games like this. Now what should I play next? Well, that's the end. Thank you all for watching.